Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called countries you can safely invest in and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, this is the 26th video of the series called countries you can safely invest in. And let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called person with three different column id name and phone number id is the column of unique values for this table each row of this table contains the name of a person and their phone number phone number will be in the form three x's and dash seven y's both can contain leading zeros we are also given a second table called country with two different columns name and country code country code is the column of unique values for this table each row of this table contains the country name and its code country code will be in the form of three x's where x is digits we are also given a third table called calls with three different columns caller id call id and duration this table may contain duplicate rows each row of this table contains the caller id call id and the duration of call in minutes caller id is not equal to call id okay a telecommunications company wants to invest in new countries the company intends to invest in countries where the average call duration of the calls in this country is strictly greater than the global average call duration we are asked to write a solution to find the countries where this company can invest in order of the result does not matter okay so here we have various records in the person country as well as the calls table and then what we need to basically find is so how will you calculate the global average you can simply go ahead and calculate from this table called calls calculate the average of the duration that is going to give you the global average duration then we also need to find out for every country what is the average call duration and only keep those countries where the average call duration of the country is greater than the overall average of the globe so apparently if you do that you get the country peru okay let's try to check whether this is correct or not okay since since you already know that here we need to perform a join because here we all need to check the name of the country then we also need to employ the durations etc right so obviously we need to perform a join but this is where you can play smart and try to find out okay yes we know we need to perform a join but how that is going to decide how efficient our solution is so for example here if you start with the calls table and try to find out okay in the calls table i am going to append uh, for every caller id and callee id their uh, phone numbers and then from there i am going to find out the country code the problem would be that here you need to join the calls table twice on the person table to actually get the phone number firstly you will make sure that okay where your caller id is equal to id and then you get the phone number and then you need to again join on callee id and get the phone number however if you do this reverse you only need one join here if you do from the person table try to join the calls table then what you can do is you can simply say that okay whenever your id is either caller id or callee id because you cannot call itself so either this person so for every row right so for for example row, row id equal to three jonathan jonathan can either be the caller or the callee so here for example the person is a caller again caller here callee so it will try to find okay this row it will append this row append this row it will append based on callee id similarly it will go other and try find out okay if there is nothing so okay jonathan is done then it moves to another person in the person table we can go ahead and do from this table called person aliased as p let us left to join the calls table right left join the calls table aliased as c on p dot id p dot id is in right p dot id is in either you are a caller id so c dot caller id or it is a c dot callee id it is basically the same thing as writing on p dot id is equal to c dot caller id or p dot id is equal to c dot callee id okay so let me keep all the columns for here we do not require all the columns but let me just keep it here for the sake of it let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay let me drag it above and let's see how our output looks like right now let me just drag it to the left so here we have okay so here we had the uh, 
person stable right person and then this person jonathan we saw the person is involved in three different calls two of them as caller and one of them as callee okay and similarly we have the duration of all those calls now we also need to make sure that we append the name of the countries based on the country code so what we can do is we can write okay from this now again go ahead and perform a left join on the country table aliased as let's say co because we have already alias calls as c and then on so you take the first three letters of the person table because that is going to give you the country code right so on left of p dot phone number p dot phone number you take the th first three and that should be equal to the country code from country table so co dot country code okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so here if i scroll up let me just drag it to the left so that it's easier for us to view so now you have that okay for jonathan this this person is from peru similarly for elvis peru morocco etc so now you have the countries assigned then what you can do is you can simply go ahead and group by the country name because in the output we need the name of the country right so what i am saying is let me just drag it down so that it, we can you know start writing the query so this is the code that is until now and then let me go ahead and write okay so now group by the name of the country so name is coming from the country table so co dot name and then you return the name of the country but you should also make sure that the average of the average duration of the country is greater than the global average so you can calculate the average of duration and that should be greater than the global average so that means you need to filter based on an aggregate value so here to filter based on an aggregate value we always use having so having the average of the duration column comes from calls table so c dot duration it should be greater than the global average so what you can do is return average of return average of the duration column directly from the calls table now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so now here if we look at it our output is name and peru and here we need basically to alias this as a country so we can just let me just drag it to the right because we do not need this much space now okay as country and now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so this is accepted let me just drag it above and if i look at our output our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it okay so yes kind of medium difficulty because the first thing that we had to identify which table to keep on the left and the right even though you can flip it up but then you are going to have at least one more join in your solution and secondly what we did was okay we joined the person's table with the calls table on either your person is a call or a collie because you cannot be both and then we got the name of the country as well and then what we did was we grouped by the name of the country and made sure that it follows the questions logic that okay the average duration of the country is greater than the global average so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video